great weekend here at the Proving Grounds as the Woods Girls double up on Big Toms. You nailed him. You nailed him, girl. Growing Deer TV is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops. Also by Reconics, Trophy Rock, Muddy Outdoors, Non-Typical Wildlife Solutions, Eagle Sea, Nikon, Winchester, Redneck Hunting Blind, Dead Downwind, Antler Dirt, Lacrosse Footwear, Scent Master, Blood Sport Arrows, Prime Bows by G5, and Outdoor Edge Knives. What are you thinking? <laughs> he ate way too many soybeans and he has not been running enough. He has to be <laughs> not easy. Raleigh, Ray, and I have enjoyed several successful hunts together throughout the years. But I really feel hunting is a great tool to teach children about all the lessons in life and the beauty of creation. This year, Raleigh and Ray were really excited for turkey season, and we had everything in place. We had great food plots left over from last fall. We had patterned the shotguns, put the blinds in place. Everyone was ready for Saturday morning. Ray and I got to hunt together first. We started in a redneck hay bale blind we had put in a food plot we called Blue Ho. Not long after daylight, we heard some toms gobbling on a ridge about a quarter mile or further behind us. It's opening morning at youth season and we're out hunting. Um, we've been hearing a lot of gobblers and we're hoping that they'll come towards us. Finally, we heard a gobble that sounded like it was on the ground and certainly closer to the blind. I made a few more calls and with minutes, we could hear feathers dragging very close to the blind. I snuck a peek out a side window of the blind and noticed there were two toms strutting to the right. This explains why that gobbler had hung up so long on the right side of the blind. With a little calling, the toms drifted back closer to the blind but swung around on the outside of decoys, clearly out of range, a raised 20 gauge. I load the 20 gauge with Winchester Heavy Dove Shot, seven and a half size, because Ray's a little sensitive to recoil, and we've learned in years past that that load works great on toms out to 25 yards. This time, the toms are at an angle that AJ and I could see them, but Ray couldn't. I could tell she was getting anxious, and the toms were headed back our way, and it seemed like it was gonna be now or never, because they were likely to cut off in the woods and go to that hen that was cutting behind us. I shifted Ray's gun on the field pod over so she could get a better angle and eased her over half on my lap so she could finally see the toms. That nailed him. That's my girl, Ray. You nailed him, girl. You nailed that big old turkey, Ray. Ooh, Ray. That's probably a three-year-old bird about an inch long spurs. There's a lot of emotions that go into a long, exciting hunt. And those emotions and those times are great opportunities to teach children about conservation, renewable resources, and many lessons about creation. They start going this way across the field at about 26 yards. I, I knew it was now or never. It's got right here. Ray could see it. I could barely see it. If I got rid of a Ray, AJ couldn't see it. Get just where you could barely see it and go back. Get, get just where you could barely see it and go back. All right, look at the camera. Tracy and Ray's grandfather joined us for pictures and celebration, and the Woods family tradition continues.
The next morning would be Raleigh's turn to go hunting with Dad. I opted to return to the same blind as there were clearly multiple mature toms in the area and they didn't pay any attention to the blind. We've been hearing a few things this morning, you know, different distances and whatnot. The thunder has been rolling. Finally heard one close and it sounds like it's coming this way. Once we did hear a gobble, they weren't very aggressive and they were few and far apart. But finally, I heard a hen cutting far left of the blind. I aggressively cut back to the hen, and there wasn't no time until we had one, two, and even three hens working the decoys. The hens remained in the area for quite some time, and we were still hearing the occasional distant gobble. We finally heard a gobble that was much closer kind of snapped me back into attention and I was ready to put my best foot forward. After a couple aggressive calls, I spotted the tom about 70 yards away. Tom was strutting and appeared to be looking for the hen. There was just enough rise in the field that the Tom may have not been able to see the decoys from his position. I scratched off a couple more calls and the Tom started strutting our way, still out of view of Raleigh. Then it became obvious he saw the decoys and started strutting right towards those redhead hens. We had recently patterned my shotgun with Winchester's new Longbeard XR shells, and I knew they were tight even out to 40 yards. Based on that, I'd set our decoys at 35 and 40 yards to give Raleigh the advantage of a slightly larger pattern. You nailed him. You nailed him, girl. Is that right? Awesome job. That's a big bird. Thank you. Big bird. I could tell through the viewfinder that the shot was true. It had been another morning filled with anxiety, waiting, and patience. Those mornings are a great time for a father and a child to talk, and more importantly, for the father to listen about the child's goals and objectives. It was a great time for Raleigh and I to spend together that ended with another Tom on the ground. You may have noticed in the footage that both girls had the shotgun on a dead shot field pod. This is not just for Amy, but in both cases, both these toms held up for a long time. It would be tiring even for an adult to hold a shotgun that long, possibly causing them to miss the shot. But with the field pod, the comfortable, the gun's not wiggling around, potentially spooking the turkey, and allowing the hunter to make a great shot. That's my girl, Ray. I always enjoy checking out the crop and seeing what the birds have been eating. I was extremely surprised to find whole soybeans inside this tom. The closest soybean food plot is almost a half a mile away. Just another reason I love the Eagle Seed 4-H soybeans. Certainly they feed deer and turkey throughout the fall, but they can be awesome springtime hunting food plots also. My turkey season's obviously off to a great start. I hope you have a chance to get out and turkey hunt this week or mess around some food plots. But whatever you do, take time to enjoy creation and most importantly, listen to what the Creator is saying to you. Thank you for watching GrowingDeer.tv. Alright. So I was watching a show the other day, Yeah. and this kid was wearing an apron, and it said, cook them, Dano. <laughs>